this view coming from the upper stage of the rocket itself. That second stage separation confirmed. With second stage shutdown and separation, the uh, third stage skirt was jettisoned prior to third stage ignition, which will continue until 8 minutes and 46 seconds after launch. The third stage engine is performing as planned, about three minutes left in its burn time ahead of spacecraft separation and insertion to the Progress 78's preliminary orbit. Six minutes and 30 seconds into today's flight, continuing to receive good data calls uh, from the teams in, the, in Baikonur. As a reminder, launch through spacecraft separation itself being controlled at the blockhouse in Baikonur, and that will be taken over by the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow upon spacecraft separation. The third stage engine continues to perform well. About one more minute left in the third stage burn. Everything continuing to proceed smoothly for Progress 78. Flight going as planned for Progress 78 and just a few seconds until we will stand by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. We have confirmation of third stage shutdown. And as you can see on your screen, progress separation, progress 78, now flying free. Solar arrays now unfurling. We no longer have the video from the rocket itself, but we saw a successful solar array unfurl, all of the appendages uh, performing as expected on the rocket.
and this view is a test of those external black and white crosshairs camera, and this will be used during the docking. Flight, control, flight controllers will be able to see the data on screen showing the distance from progress to the station and the rate of closure in meters per second. However, this won't come into play until July 1st when they begin to approach the International Space Station for an automated docking of the vehicle. This view of the team and the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, outside of Moscow. This team has, now has flight control of the vehicle. Launch control having taken place uh, through the blockhouse in Baikonur. Again, another view from that external camera aboard Progress 78. This will come into play uh, Thursday, July 1st upon docking. Progress is now in its preliminary orbit, traveling at about 17,500 miles per hour. And those pre-program engine firings will raise its altitude to match the International Space Station, later being fine-tuned with docking, as we mentioned, scheduled for Thursday evening, July 1st at 9.03 p.m. Eastern Time. Coverage will begin at 8 15 p.m. Eastern Time, ahead of Progress 78's docking to the space-facing side of the Poisk module. Recapping the milestones from today, liftoff occurred on time at 7.27 p.m. Eastern Time, which was 4.27 a.m. at the launch site in Baikonur. The Soyuz 2.1A booster lifted off from Site 31 in Baikonur, and all three stages performed as planned, propelling Progress into its preliminary orbit. Progress will stay on the station for about five months. The spacecraft is scheduled to perform an automated undocking and relocation to the new Nauka Multipurpose Laboratory module later this year. Yeah. Progress 78 will later undock for a destructive and yet safe re-entry into Earth's atmosphere.